I'm interested in how particles move. What I'm particularly interested in is how the interactions between particles give rise to the properties of materials and their associated transport phenomena. In order to study these behaviors, my research group conducts large-scale simulations of enormous numbers of interacting particles so that we can deduce the relationship between particle structure within a material and its large-scale material properties. If you look at the world around us, there are a whole bunch of systems that look like flows of large-scale materials that are made up of individual particles that are interacting with each other. For example, when you think about the flow of water through a desalination membrane or a flow of a mixture of chemicals through a chemical separation device, what you're trying to achieve is different transport rates between different chemical species, and that's a question of tailoring the flows of individual particles through a very complex environment. If you think about designing a material that's really good at insulating or really good at taking heat off a really hot surface, that too is a question of tailoring the small-scale transport of thermal energy between atoms and molecules. But it's not all just small-scale stuff. The kinds of research that we do in our group also applies to studying the flows of, for example, pedestrians through a crowded concourse. That too is a large-scale flow made up of small-scale particles that are interacting with each other. On the basic science side, our work continuously improves and informs our fundamental understanding of how materials behave at the nano and micro scales. And these are very important for developing good quality models for these systems. On the more applied computational side, we work directly with labs that are conducting experiments right now on devices and materials, and we compare the results of our simulations and calculations with the results that they're taking right now. Something that I love about this research is that it is deeply interdisciplinary. It draws on a lot of ideas from traditional civil and environmental engineering, but it also takes inspiration from ideas and techniques in mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, high-performance computing, statistical physics, and applied math. One of the largest challenges in this business is being able to simulate a sufficient number of particles that you can say something meaningful about a material. One of the grand challenges in this field is finding ways more and more clever computational tricks and clever ideas so that we can simulate larger and larger numbers of particles faster and faster and be able to draw engineering conclusions from representative models. There's a line in the play Arcadia by Tom Stoppard that really sums up the kinds of problems that we think about and the kinds of impact that we want to have. If you could stop every atom in its position and direction, and if your mind could comprehend all the actions thus suspended, then if you were really, really good at algebra, you could write the formula for all the future. The line of work that we're in is trying to be really, really good at that algebra so that we can make a positive impact on the future.